Breaking news, my country people. Femi Fanny Kayo, they don't enter one chance, so this time around, they don't talk, say, may they arrange this man pull for one corner. In while I don't too much. Groups gives Nigerian police boss, secret police unit, DSS, 48 hours to arrest Fanny Kayode for posing threat to national security. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A civil society organization under the umbrella of Save Nigeria Democratic Movement, SNDM, has given the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, and the Department of State Service, DSS, 48 hours to arrest the director of new media of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC Presidential Campaign Council, Femi Fani Kayode, over his recent inciting comment. The group gave the ultimatum on Thursday at a news conference in Abuja. Addressing the newsmen, SNDM President Dr. Danjuma Garaba and the Secretary Commissioner Olu Bankole Peters said Femi Fani Kayode's ethnic profiling and inciting statement followed widespread violence across the nation, including attacks on non Yorubas on non Yoruba voters in Lagos State during the March 18th governorship elections. Condemning Fanny Kayode's recent threats that the country could be ungovernable if the president elect Bola Tinibu of the APC was not sworn in on May 29th. SNDM said that Fanny Kayode's posed a grave danger to Nigerians' democracy, unity, and security. The group said, The Save Nigeria Democratic Movement is distributed by the recent inciting comment by the former aviation minister and the director of New Media All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council, Femi Fani Kayode. Recently, the media has been awash with reports of Fani Kayode's inciting rhetoric targeted at causing ethnic disharmony and widespread violence across the nation. We can no longer continue to ignore his excess as they pose a grave danger to our democracy, unity, and security. Record that his ethnic profiling and inciting statement fueled unprecedented violence against non-Yoruba voters in Lagos State at the just-concluded governorship elections. I mean... We find it totally unacceptable. His recent threats to make the country ungovernable should Bola and Martinibu not be sworn in is uncalled for, my country people. We saw during the governorship elections now, Fanny Kayode said that Lagos is not no man's land. I mean, the Igbos cannot just come to Lagos and claim that uh, Lagos is their land. Meanwhile, most Nigerians have kicked against his statements. He also said that uh, Badebo Roots Vivo, the Labour Party governorship candidate, you know, in Lagos State, that he wants to impose Igbo agenda on the Yoruba people in Lagos. That was when this ethnic and this tribal war started, though. We saw how the Akere spare parts market got burnt down by fire. All of a sudden, you know, immediately after Fanny Kayode made such tweets, and Nigerians were wondering what coincidence and this is a threat against national peace and security and should not be ignored by all relevant security agencies already. His misguided outburst has, in fact, attracted the attention of the international community. A British envoy addressed him and pointed out the dangers of his inciting statement. However, Instead of Femi Fani Kayode retracing his steps, his statement, retracing his steps, he went wild against the envoy with derogatory remarks, unbenefiting of a supposed statesman. Come on. Femi Fani Kayode is infamous in Nigeria for his opportunistic political misadventures. He is a rumble rosa whose only political value is the noise he makes and the ripples of disaffection he causes. 
He has never contested or won or lost an election. In fact, he is he is to parasitically attach himself to the winning side and look for any available financial opportunity to sustain his extravagant and drug-ridden lifestyle. He is a craving man who rides behind the wheels of valiant men to glean the spoils of war. And while waiting for the spoils, he can go to the extremes of verbal assault, name-calling of opponents. The group noted that Fanny Kayode's method of political engagement is crude, savage, and barbaric. He does not spare vices, however, in his quest to appear loyal to his paymasters. In fact, he is a known groveler who does the dirty jobs for his paymasters in return for food. Ah, my country people, make we not forget, say, our former president. Obasanjo, don't us say, see, Femi Kayodena, my boy. I know this man very well. Once you give him food, he will sing and he will clap for you. He will dance for you. He will do anything you want him to do for you. That is just the kind of person uh, Femi Kayode is. Now, only where Bele face, now there you they see him. So, most Nigerians have labeled this man as a stomach, infrastructure, politicians. Nobody today we know uh, Femi Fani Kayode. The SDM pointed out that as a result of, uh, as a result of Fani Kayode's unprincipled approach to life in general and to politics in particular, he has no alliance to any political party or ideology. And when he is done eating, he scatters the table and spits the host. Come on, he is a political para who, likes a hawk, flies about looking for who to eat. Femi Fanikayode is such a despicable figure that is awful. We therefore call on the ruling party to amend their initial mistake of appointing Femi Fanikayode into their campaign council by distancing themselves from his inciting comments. Already, he's, he's trying to cause a diplomatic row between Nigeria and the United Kingdom with his recent tantrums against the British Deputy High Commissioner to Nigeria, Ben Jones, who tried to address his excess. We would be forced to believe that Femi Fani Kayode is doing the biddings of the ruling party to destroy Nigeria if a drastic action is not taken against him. Finally, we have called on the Inspector General of Police to and the DSS to arrest him within 48 hours. Femi Fani Kayode has been posing, in fact, poses a grave threat to national security with his caseless inciting statements and ethnic profiling. This is to serve as a detriment to other political bigots and overzealous politicians, my country people. It don't happen, no. They don't just say, make DSS come carry this man within 48 hours. They don't give them time frame. In fact, they have given the DSS ultimatum. She Nigerians don't they shout since say, make they call this man to order. But since, Tinibu keep quiet. Now, now, group don't come put mouth for this matter. Say, make DSS call arrest Femi Fani Kayode. So, my country people, make on a country mouth for this matter. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye for now.